Konnichiwa, Gatsby-san. Today's video is all about Japanese street food. Oh, wait a minute. You live in California, not in Japan. How are you going to get the food? Today, we're going to be making and hunting for Japanese street food. <gasps> So first off, we're going to be making okonomiyaki, which is like a savory Japanese pancake. It's made on a griddle and it is commonly sold as Japanese street food. We're going to be garnishing ours with pork belly, kimchi, cheese, and bonito flakes. Ooh. First, we're going to shred half a head of cabbage. Okay, and we're going to cut up two green onions. I went to the Asian market and picked up some okonomiyaki flour. Yeah, and three quarters cup of water. Kinda looks like pancake batter. Next, we add the cabbage, the green onions, and two eggs. This looks like dumpling filling. And some cabbage. Okay, let's do some sunflower oil. And I wanna form it into a circle. And then we wanna take some thinly sliced pork belly and lay that on top. Okay, let's try flipping this over. Let's go. It's been four minutes, let's flip it back over. Ooh, look at that. We're gonna stick some cheese on the top. Now we garnish with okonomiyaki sauce. I do have a silicone brush that we got from one of our fans. Kinda like a sweet and tangy sauce. Take Japanese mayonnaise, QP with the little baby on it. More like icing in terms of the viscosity. Take a skewer and kinda just like draw back and forth. Put some kimchi on top. Bonito flakes, pickled red ginger, green onions, powdered seaweed. Check it out, we're ready. Mmm, looks so good. Now, along with that, I got some other traditional street food, including Japanese dango. They're like little mochi rice cake balls. Yaki imo, which is a grilled sweet potato. They usually sell these on the road, but this one apparently is the same thing. And all you have to do is microwave it. Okonomiyaki, yaki imo, or dango, extra refresh apple soda. Let's cut this okonomiyaki. Mmm, smells good with the cheese. Mmm! Oh my gosh, it's so good. The combination with like the mayonnaise and like the sweet barbecue sauce just makes it taste super good. Super sweet and savory. I don't know, when I was younger, I wasn't really a fan, but this one is like the best I've ever had. Let's try our yaki imo. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's so good when it's hot. They usually sell this, especially on a really cold day. Gatsby, would you like to try some sweet potato from Japan? Oh. Let's try our dango. So it's like a nice, super soft mochi. Chewy, that one's really nice. It's like super soft. Carbonated apple soda. Mmm, <sighs> that's super good. What an awesome beginning to the street food that we have in our vlog. We have a lot more street food coming up. Stay tuned and let's begin the vlog. Hey Gatsby, looking in the mirror? <laughs> Do you see yourself? What's going on? <gasps> what? Hello, I am here with my friends Steven and Sonia and we are gonna go and grab some Japanese street food. Unfortunately, there isn't really a street food place here in the Bay Area, so we're gonna go to the Japanese markets and try to find some. Looking for stuff to have corn cake today. Okay, we have our Croquettes here. Potato patties. Patties deep fried. Deep fried. And yeah. then they have stuff in it like pumpkin, crab, corn. It's super good. It's like they use mashed potatoes and then they like deep fry it. That's about an eight. Oh. I give an eight. Mm -hmm. They have taiyaki here too. We gotta get it. Okay. Like a fish donut. They kind of take like a waffle iron and that's like in the mold of a fish. It doesn't taste like fish. There's no fish in it. Do you even <laughs> know any, ref like understand the reference? No, I don't. Mmm. There's walnuts in it. The walnuts kind of like, really work though. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would give it a ten. Like a nine and a half. A nine. Okay, we gotta get one of these ice creams. Green tea ice cream with a layer of chocolate and then there's a wafer. It's not that sweet, the label chocolate in. Mm. The wafer's a little stale. Seven and a half. Seven. Yeah. Probably seven, yeah. Walking through all the snacks. It's a Pikachu. Oh. And did you know that Ultra Ball in Japanese is Hyper Ball? No, I didn't know that. That's why there's an H on the ball. Takoyaki. <gasps> Octopus in like batter. Cheers. <laughs> The octopus is just like topping. inside, yeah, like they yeah. only have like a tiny bit of octopus and then it's like... It's pancakey batter and eight or a nine. 
I give it like a six and a half. Next food. Groba Bakery. Clover Bakery. These look so good. Spaghetti bread. Chow mein bread. Fried curry bread. I think the main one that you would see on the street is this curry bread. Oh, there's actual oh, curry nice. inside. Yeah, it smells good. It is really good. It's like a doughy samosa. It's really good. I like it a lot. I feel like a nine. We're going to Beard Papa. Look at all these cream puffs. They're like super light like a cloud. It's very good. <laughs> Insides are like nice and cold, and you can choose between chocolate, strawberry, green tea, or vanilla. I give it like a nine and a half. This is my favorite. I give it a ten. This one's a ten. We're done! We made it! We survived with all that food. I think Steven's like dying because <laughs> he was so full already to begin with. Of the sweet things that we tried, I would probably say the taiyaki. I never had it with walnuts before, and it was really amazing. And I think of savory, I really enjoyed the curry bread. It was good. Nice. I actually would say the exact same thing. The curry bread, I think if I saw that on the street market, it sounds really weird, but I, I would go for that. And taiyaki for sure. Every single time I see that, I buy it. For savory, definitely the curry bread. Uh, it's like a donut-y kind of samosa. The Beard Papa strawberry puff was the best, I think, uh, for me. If you saw these all at the street market, like in Japan, which one would you definitely have to go and get? Thanks to my friends, <laughs> let's start <laughs> the vlog! Guess we come, snoot! Good time! So proud of Gatsby. Can you do that? Can you? You ready? Here it goes. He's like, oh, I see. I see. Oh, almost. <laughs> you got one. Good job. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I got one. High five. Good job. So in the last vlog, we announced that we are doing a Corgi on Fleek pin giveaway. For these, it's time for me to select the three winners. 1,521 responses between one and 1,521. The first number is 1,246. 1,246, Pamela Young. From California. Second number is 512. Susan Saunders from Ohio. Final number is 582. Adisha Voruganti from Illinois. Congratulations to those three winners. I'll be in contact with you soon to get your Corgi on fleek pin. Okay, we are headed off to the gym now. Gonna hit some legs. I got some pre-workout in me. <laughs> I bang off my cell phone. Okay. Now let's get on with the vlog. Look at my jewelry, I'm lethal. These diamonds on me, they see through. I'm a Martian, they wish they equal. I got M's on the back like a beast. The corgi and dogs, let's put them all on a spaceship. Here is what the aquarium looks like today. I moved the elegance coral to the back of the tank, as you can see, because it's just so big that it needs all the extra space it can get. However, moving it here, I had to move the candelabra gorgonian, where it's happily swaying in the current. Other than that, everything's looking pretty good. And that is your quick aquarium update. Let's get your leash out. Here it goes. Hey. He's like, I must drink first. Hold on, sir, I must drink. Okay, you ready? There you go. Gatsby, do you like going on walks? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gatsby's the greeter. Hey, let's go to the Amazon bookstore. Gatsby, do you wanna go? Can I go to the bookstore? Check out all the books. Girl, wash your face. Lobster is the best medicine. Interesting. Is that the book you want? This one? <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> what was that noise? <gasps> hey Gatsby, you have so many toys. I think we gotta know which ones are actually fetchable. Should we test them all out? In continuation from last vlog, part two. Ready? <laughs> hmm. 
This place is a mess. And as promised, we are gonna be making a Japanese street food style dessert called honey toast. First and most important thing you'll need is a piece of bread that has not been sliced. Either a bakery or you could even go to Panera Bread. I found this one at the Asian market. You'll also need a serrated knife. Okay. Since you can't pull it out yet, what you do is you turn this over and right near the bottom, Another slice and cut across. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's actually coming out. We have a bread box. Perfect. It's very gently. Don't put pressure on the knife again. We have our bread cubes. Preheat the oven to 325 degrees. Six tablespoons of butter. Slicing it makes it melt faster. Three tablespoons of honey. Butter and honey is melted. And we're basically gonna make like buttery croutons with honey. We're gonna pour some of this honey butter mixture over the bread, melt the bread, and butter the insides. Stick this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, we'll set these aside. I have some strawberries and some blueberries. One tablespoon of honey, four tablespoons of sugar, Okay, and then we just let it cook for about two minutes. Check it out. Ooh. Wow, that smells so good. <laughs> okay, it's time to assemble the honey toast. We're gonna stick our pieces inside. Two scoops of ice cream. Pour the sauce over it. There we go, our honey toast. Woo! Oh, it's nice and crispy. Check it out. Woo! This is a different way of making it than I usually like have had it. Oh my God, it's so good. This is like the best I've ever had. The butter made the edges like really crispy. The cold ice cream too contrasts with it so nicely. If you're someone who likes like um, pies because of the crust, that's basically what this is. It's just like eating crust like the whole time. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'll put a link to the recipe in the description below. I would highly suggest trying mate to make this. I think I'm gonna be regretting this tomorrow. I'm so full that there was so we had so much food. In the comments below, write down what your favorite thing was out of everything. Was it the honey toast okonomiyaki or one of the things that we went and bought taiyaki curry bread? Ah, oh, okay, that's gonna do it for us for today's vlog. We've been really, really busy working on a new project that we will be announcing soon. And that's really been taking up all of my and Gatsby's energy. Both of us are just like so <laughs> exhausted. Make sure to check out CorgiOnFleek.com to get all of your Gatsby Corgi merchandise, including the Corgi pins. Are you gonna say goodnight, Gatsby? Okay, let's see if Gatsby will obey me and not eat the chicken that I lay out for him when I'm not looking. Place your bets now. All the while?